Hello and welcome. So if you found your way here, it's because you bought one of my new vehicle kits. So thank you. Um, hopefully you're gonna find carving cakes, vehicles, and all sorts of other things really, really simple with these new structure kits. That's the plan. Um, I've met lots and lots and lots of cake decorators from all different levels. And what seemed to be a common theme was vehicles that they absolutely hated doing them. And actually, if truth be known, so did I. And it was because we're not really quite sure where to start, are we, with a car or a van or, a, you know, motorbike. And it's getting it right, the proportions right, getting the wheels to look real, getting it to stand off the board and on its wheels, along with covering it, putting all the details on, where do you mark the doors? What do you do with the lights? Um, so I've tried to make that simple. So I've taken all the hard work out of it for you. Now, I cannot make a kit for every single type of vehicle that there is on the planet. It just wouldn't be feasible. But what I've tried to do at the moment is come up with a several bases and then from that, several templates that will fit with the bases. I'll explain more shortly. So these videos and this kit is not necessarily designed for you to copy to the letter. What it's designed to do is, hopefully as a cake decorator that's had a go at at least a carved novelty cake before and is comfortable with covering cakes and using ganache, that you'll be able to take the kit that's most appropriate for you use it and then adapt it to suit your needs. And of course, as time goes on, the more and more kits will become available because people will start to request them, I'll realize that they're popular and I'll go ahead and make them. So, the um, I'll show you the kits shortly, but what I wanted to kind of talk you through was how these tutorials work, how the kits kind of work and um, how to purchase them uh, all those kind of frequently asked questions. So, in this tutorial, you will find it's been split down into sections. It's not necessarily separated into sections of a particular car, more particular stages. So like assembly, adding cake, carving, ganaching your cakes, um, covering your cakes, detailing your cakes, using the moulds, um, those kind of things. So you'll be split into that. And you'll see as I go through that I'm working on several cars in one point. Because if there's a particular relative information that's only relevant to one type of car, I'll make sure I cover that there in order that you're not missing out. And I go, ah, oh, well, if, you'd have, if you were doing the sports car, you needed to do this. You need to know about it, don't you? But I won't take you through every single car in every single detail. You'll watch me carve a couple that have two very different carving methods to them or filling methods to them. And you'll usually find that you need one or the other method. And then I'll talk about ganaching them. I'll ganache one, but then I'll ganache the rest off camera. Um, detailing them, if there's something specific about a car that you need to kind of know about because it's different or unique, then I'll go through it. Um, so hopefully, you'll be given the full inspiration to get cracking and then um, design those things yourself or adapt them as you need. Now, I have chosen to make these kits out of wood. It's the same wood that we'd use um, for a lollipop stick. So I'm happy that it's um, near a cake. And uh, they've been done on a laser cutter. So you may well find that there are slight little burn marks on some of them. It isn't going to detract from um, your project. It's certainly not um, going to cause you a problem, but they might be there. And also, they're laser cut, and whilst every effort has been taken to make sure they've come out smoothly, on occasions you may find that there are little pieces of sharp wood. Be careful. None of this wood is going in the cake, it's all going underneath the cake. So if you hadn't spotted a little sharp bit, um, no one's gonna eat that, so don't worry. What do we do about the kits after we've used them? Well, there's two things that you can do here. One, you could um, do something from Frozen. Let it go. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I get asked this question, what do I do with the kit? 
So I started breaking into song. So your option number one, quite seriously, is let it go. Price this up as part of your cake, along with your board, your eggs, your flour, your sugar paste, your filling, um, your ribbon, everything. You would price this up, part of the cake, and off it goes. I mean, you're never going to see it again, and that's fine. You could, you could charge your customer for a stamped addressed jiffy envelope and ask them to simply pop it back in the post. And then you could use it again. Or maybe you make for friends and family. And actually, it's not going very far away from home because Aunt Ginny will bring it back round to you. If you're going to use them again, you might want to cut out a template on greaseproof paper before you put anything on it and put that template in between as a barrier between your board and your cake because you'll find it then much easier to wipe down and clean. Obviously, we can't soak these in water because wood expands, but you can give them a wipe down with an antibacterial wipe. As I said, if you want to use them again, just give that top piece a barrier. Now, the kit also comes with sides. We'll come on to this more later, but these again have been laser cut. These are made out of the same material as acetate smoothers. They're a polypropylene plastic, um, so really, really useful. And these you would keep. So once you've started collecting your sides, you make another cake, you'll only have to buy the base. So it starts getting even more economical. You'll find again that um, these have been really nicely laser cut with all the little details. So it's got door markings on there um, and things like that. But again, you may find there are some tiny little burn marks in places. And what happens is the laser has to slow down when it goes around corners. Um, so therefore, it stays longer on the project in certain areas. There's not a lot I can do about the tiny little burn marks, but I promise you they're not going to affect your work and they certainly aren't unusable. Um, and over time, the more you wash them, the more those little marks kind of disappear. I do give them all an antibacterial wipe when they come off the machine. Um, but it doesn't always get rid of some of the marks. But they're nothing for you to worry about. Okay, so I'm going to go through shortly all of the bits and pieces in the next section. There's another couple of points. I've got a little notepad here of things that I want to talk about. Right, if you have any questions, then there is a frequently asked question section within this tutorial. Please have a look at it. You might find somebody already had that question and I've already answered it for you. So have a look there and you'll see if it's there. If not, ask away. Ask away because somebody else might be thinking it and hasn't yet asked it. I am more than happy to answer any questions. All I ask is, is that you have watched all of the tutorial in order that I'm not explaining myself again when the information was readily available. Also, I have a free Facebook group. So it's called the Dinky Doodle Cake Club. There is a link to it below, so you'll be able to come and join in all of the fun there as well. Um, you can also contact me by email, so my email address um, through um, Teachable is there so that you can actually um, access me. But also, as soon as you um, put in a frequently asked questions, it sends me an email to tell me that you've asked a question. So I will, will be able to help you and I will know that you need me. Right, I think then that we'll go on to more detail about the kits and how they work. So for now, goodbye, we'll see you in a bit. And I hope that you're really excited to get started and see all of the possibilities with these kits. See you soon.